a couple of weeks before Christmas, I was taking some time to repent for God, and I was repenting for a lack of self-control in an area. Actually, I was eating. Between June and October, I'd lost a little over 10 pounds, and between November and the beginning of December, I'd put several of those pounds back. And I was saying, God, I repent for my lack of self-control, and I'm going to stop eating at night. In fact, I'm going to stop buying snacks, and therefore I can't eat at night. And as I was doing that, I felt like God just say, stop. So I stopped, and I paused, and I recognized several other areas that I lacked self-control in. And so I started repenting for those areas and saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop doing this, I'm going to start doing that. And I felt like God say, stop. So I paused, and this time I said, God, what are you saying? And I felt like God just tell me to pause in the moment of acknowledging my failure, my weakness, um, my sin, even. I felt like God say, just pause in that moment and come before me. And as I did that, I realized that I had been acknowledging something I was doing wrong, and then I was quickly moving on to the thing that I would do to fix it. You know, stop eating snacks at night, stop buying stuff. And I felt like God was saying what he wanted for me to was just pause in the moment of acknowledging my weakness. In some ways, my basis for God was, for coming before God was all the good things I was going to do and all the bad things I was going to stop doing. And God brought Psalm 51 to mind. Psalm 51 says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgression. Now you notice it doesn't say, have mercy on me, O God, according to my great plans. According to my wonderful good works, blot out my transgression. It just says, have mercy on me, God, in, a, in the measure of your love. It wasn't in the measure of how bad I felt. It wasn't in the measure of all my good plans. It was just, have mercy on me according to your great mercy, according to your great love. And now, every day for the last six weeks, I've been coming before God, and I've been listing things that I'm doing wrong in my life, that, I, that I'm aware of. And as I just list those, and I come before God in that moment, pausing in the moment of failure, pausing in the moment of sin, of weakness, I just experience God's love. I feel like God is pouring into my heart a sense of His love, His care for me, just as I acknowledge my weakness. And it's rich. I, I encourage you, try this for a week, try it for a month. I've done it for six weeks, try it for six weeks. Coming before God and just saying, God, I acknowledge this and I acknowledge this. These are all failures. I just acknowledge them when I come before you. And I believe God is going to fill us with a sense of his love and his care, his abundant mercy, his abundant mercy. Isn't God great?